Good evening, everyone. I'm Kamen Anchev. The previous record for most points in an NBA All-Star game was 321 last year. The Stars sure look to shatter that mark tonight. Kobe Bryant no longer an elite player, but in his last season, so he was voted in by the fans for his 18th All-Star game first quarter. Kobe leaves it for Russell Westbrook, who punishes the rim with the power. Then Westbrook off the backboard, and Kevin Durant throws it down to Thunder teammates having a lot of fun. Then here's Kobe with this fadeaway. This is what you call a lucky roll. 20 seasons in the NBA buys you that in your last All-Star game as it goes around and in. How about the East team, though, and the hometown guy, DeMar DeRozan? Watch this right here, the 360 dunk. Wow. More dunks. Chris Paul throws it up, and Anthony Davis would throw it down. Watch this. Wow. Same two guys again and the same result, another powerful dunk. Here's the dunk of the night, D-Wade to LeBron with a crazy finish. That sure looked familiar. The West team wins 196-173. All the points records broken as Westbrook wins MVP with 31 points. To college hoops with each day the Lady Red Wolves set more records. Their now 14 game winning streak tied the longest in school history and it's the first time A-State has started 14-0 in the Sun Belt. It's also the first time the Red Wolves have started 20-3 on the season. A-State led 22-9 after one quarter and never looked back beating ULM 78-64. Khadija Brown Haywood tied a career high with 29 points. The ladies are heating up but the men are cooling off after a 4-0 Sunbelt start a-State has lost three straight to drop to 7-7 seven and seven in conference. Anthony Livingston recorded his 26th career double-double with 23 points and 11 rebounds as he helped lead the Red Wolves back and send the game against ULM to overtime. The Red Wolves were previously 3-0 in OT but finally came up short in the extra period, losing 78-73 against the Warhawks. You know, they're shooting 50% from the floor as a team in, in these home games that they played. We held them to 39 tonight. We, we did enough to win the game. Uh, we just didn't do enough maybe on offense to make a basket or two to close it out. The Hogs have to be sick in playing in Mississippi. First, a 32-point road loss against Mississippi State on Tuesday, and yesterday, a 16-point road loss at Ole Miss. The Hogs actually led the game 37-35 at the half thanks to 15 points by Moses Kingsley, but he only had four the second half, and Dusty Hannas was held scoreless. Ole Miss had a 47-29 rebounding edge and got 16 second half points from Stefan Moody to win 76-60. Jessica Jackson and the Lady Razorbacks taking on the Mizzou Tigers today. First quarter, Jordan Danbury on the drive for two, hogs down 5-4. Next possession, Jessica Jackson would shoot the jumper and this is what you call a shooter's roll. Remember Kobe got one? Well, here's another one. This one bounces in. The Hogs take a brief lead, but it was all Mizzou today. Jordan Freerix with a great post position and the finish down low right here, 21-10 Mizzou. Robin Pinchton's Tigers and my alma mater would improve to 20-6 and as Sierra Porter adds two more. The Hogs fall to 10-15 and on the season with a 69-48 loss. And how about this? Chase Elliott driving the famous 24 Hendrick Motorsports Chevrolet, previously driven by the legendary Jeff Gordon. And Elliott racing like Gordon as the 20-year-old becomes the youngest driver to win the pole at the Daytona 500 with 196.314 miles per hour. The race itself is next Sunday at noon. Big time accomplishment. A really fun all-star game. A lot of points, not a lot of defense, but so many good plays. Yeah, last one for Kobe. Yes, absolutely. All right, thanks, Common. Stick with us. We'll be back.